Does anyone else like do their nighttime skincare <laughs> when they take their makeup off at like four? Happy Valentine's Day! Okay, I gotta pick flowers for my mom. I came home to two beautiful bouquets from Yar. Okay, buddy. Ready? Good boy. Turn of events. <laughs> Hello you guys, happy Monday. So I just got back from the gym and I also picked up our groceries for the week. Um, we had HelloFresh last week, so I still have a lot of like meals left over that we can eat this week, which is always great. We started a new co-pilot session. Like every two weeks we switch the moves and like up the weights. Oh my gosh, actually, I need my protein shake. I think there's some sort of time frame where you're supposed to drink the protein. Maybe as long as it's like an hour after or something. I mean, it hasn't been that long. I just had to go to Whole Foods really quick, but um, it was hard, which is good though, because like it should get harder. You know, that's how you're gonna challenge your muscles and stuff, but whew, your girl was shaking. Here is what I grabbed from Whole Foods. Um, this you can get on Amazon or at Whole Foods, the Dr. Hauschka, the side <laughs> clarifying day oil. This is like what had really helped my acne. Um, and I ran out, hadn't been using it. And I'm like, why am I breaking out? I'm like, I think it's this, cause this was the only thing I stopped using. I think it really helps. I will link it, try it if you have acne. Um, it's just a, CR's coffee machine. It cleans itself. All right. He must have been making coffee recently. Um, so yeah, like if you have oily skin or blemishy skin, hormonal acne, whatever, this was like, when I started using this, my skin totally changed. I'm gonna start using it again and hopefully I can get this under control because I have been breaking out again more. Some shredded cheddar. I always keep sour cream in the house because a lot of Mexican food here. Got some pasture raised eggs. One thing I'll say is egg prices have gone up, but not really at Whole Foods. So we'll give them that. Um, we just needed sandwich bags. I ended up getting a mouthwash here. Um, people seem to love this. I don't know. Essential oxygen, PR, rinse, organic mouthwash, brush it, brushing, rinse, whiter teeth, fresher breath, kills bad germs. So I don't know. I wanted to try this. A little bit pricey, but people seem to love it. We needed barbecue sauce and this one had one of the best reviews. I don't love the 365 barbecue sauce. It just doesn't have enough flavor, but this one is a Carolina barbecue sauce from Lily's. It's a balanced and tangy Western Carolina barbecue sauce. We'll see. Got some chickpea spaghetti. They actually sell um, fresh pet <laughs> at Whole Foods, so it's nice if I ever need to just do a grocery order to get Bruno's um, refrigerated dog food. So that's been a game changer. And then just some American cheese. So not a whole lot. We had our Super Bowl party last night, so that's why my energy is kind of just mellow. I'm tired. <laughs> I like really did not want to work out today, but I'm really glad that I went and just, I feel really good and accomplished. And I was actually, when I did my elliptical portion, I was watching the Love is Blind after the altar new episodes. <sighs> I just love Alexa and Brennan together. I love Alexa. Like she's just mm, the baddest, but that was really fun. <laughs> I was really enjoying the elliptical today watching that. But yeah, we had our Super Bowl party last night. It was really, really fun. Rihanna showing her baby puff. It was so cute. Like she come on, we're all like, is she pregnant? And then when she started like rubbing the belly, I was like, okay. So, so amazing. Um, she's so cute. And it was a really good performance. I know I saw some people saying like that it was not enough. I'm like, it's always enough. It's Rihanna. I didn't see a lot of funny commercials. The one I liked the most was with Cher and Clueless <laughs> with Alicia Silverstone. That was really cool. Um, but you know what? I had like my whole spread out. It was in the last vlog, but like I had a whole spread and I completely forgot about the veggie tray. <laughs> the veggie tray is in the fridge. So um, we have veggies for the week. I have bananas and oranges. I still have a lot of like my fresh produce and like poultry and stuff to make dinners this week. So we really didn't need too much. So anyway, today I am going to shower and shoot a um like a haul because i bought a bunch of stuff for my florida trip in a few weeks so i want to do like a try on haul for that um so that's what we're gonna do today and i will check back in with you guys later many hours later okay you guys it is now 4:08. i have spent most of the day filming 
the try on haul and doing my makeup, which I filmed a fun transition for on like TikTok and stuff. And then I realized right here, I had salad in my teeth. We had so many extra veggies from yesterday. I just made a little salad and I had a thing right here. I always get something right here. I left it up though, because you know what? I don't care. <laughs> okay, what's today's affirmation? Appreciate the good. I meant to do this this morning. <laughs> Today I send love to those who honor and respect my boundaries. Slay. I have this in our bathroom and then I have the affirmation cards that Lily got me in the bedroom. So I usually fill my mornings with a lot of positivity, but this morning I forgot. Happy Monday. But now that I'm done filming, I am taking off my makeup and I'm going to edit until we are ready for dinner. I think I'm also gonna take Bruni for a quick walk before I edit, because it's just about his poop time. Oh, I know your dog has a poop schedule too. So this is the Drunk Elephant Makeup Remover Balm. I do like it, but the only thing about this one is it's a little bit more oily. It really sticks to my hands. Like when I go to wash my hands, like it just like clings to my hands and I don't love that about it. I prefer the Versed Clinique and Elemis cleansing balms because like they don't cling to your hands. See, it just like clings and then I have to like wipe it off. But like, I don't want it to go to waste. So we're gonna use it. <laughs> I also washed my hair in the shower and I gave myself a blowout, which always just feels so nice. It's so funny. I was thinking the other day, I used to be so insecure without makeup. Oh my gosh. Especially in the beginning of my <laughs> YouTube life. I, in real life and online, I just like did not like going anywhere without makeup. I felt so uncomfortable with my naked face. And now I'm like so okay with it and I don't even think about it. Even when I'm breaking out, I just like don't care. So I'm really thankful for how far I've come with that because I'm telling you, it was kind of exhausting. Okay, and I got this um, last week from Amazon the Dermalogica Micro Exfoliant. It's a daily exfoliant and I really, really like this. So like you wet your hands and you just drop a little bit of this powder in. I don't normally do that much. And then you just rub it in and it gets foamy and I never exfoliate enough. So I love that this is like a daily one. It hasn't dried me out or anything and it's supposed to help with acne, so that's good. But after I use this, my face feels so clean. Like just so clean. And I just massaged it in for like a minute and then I'm gonna take it off with a wet washcloth. Oh, it feels so good. It was fun because I did a little more makeup than usual today just for, you know, the heck of it and like filming. I do think I wanna play with makeup again more, but like on the day to day, I just prefer light or like nothing. Does anyone else like do their nighttime skincare <laughs> when they take their makeup off at like four or five? I don't know, like, when you do <laughs> take your makeup off towards the end of the day, it's like, I may as well do my nighttime skincare now. I guess sometimes I'll like just throw on a little moisturizer and do like the full shipping later that night. Actually, I think I'll do that. I'm just gonna throw moisturizer on and I'll probably do this again at like 10 o'clock right before bed. Um, today for moisturizer, we're doing the Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb, super hydrating. Honestly, Neutrogena Hydro Boost extra dry is a dupe. It reminds me so much of the Aqua Bomb from Belief. Oh, it feels so <sighs> hydrating. Okay, so I'm gonna go take out the dog and get some editing done. And I don't know what we're gonna do about dinner. Oh, oh I have one HelloFresh left. Yes, and it's tacos. All right. Here is dinner tonight, the last HelloFresh we got in our order, so let's make it. to wear my valentine sweatshirt i have two that i've been wearing you guys know the other one from etsy it says like you are loved and worthy this one's from 
Mallory Irvin's line. I can't remember the name of it. Fully, living fully. Um, but I grabbed this from her Valentine's drop. It says not today Cupid with a bunch of Cupids. It's so cute. And I've been really into blue lately. So me and Yara, our Valentine's tradition has become us going to the movies. We like never go to the movies. And for the first few years, we would go out to dinner and it was always just busy and like overpriced and just not that good. <laughs> And like we try to go on date night once a week anyway so it's like let's do something different so we started going to the movies um so we are gonna drive to the movies that have like the reclining chairs and serve food so we can eat dinner there you can get drinks like um so it's gonna be super fun that's our valentine's day tradition so um our movie's at six i believe so um we have the day it's eight o'clock i need to go get my nails done guys look at how grown out my thumbs are look at how <laughs> i think it's been about three weeks i never really push it past two um because my nails grow kind of quick but they need to get done so um i think i'm gonna get red red or french probably red i've been seeing on the news um first yar saw it and my mom saw it and they sent it to me and they're like you don't do this right there's like this information now about like getting um like gel cured nails if they use a certain light it can cause cancer so it depends if they're using like a uv light or a different light i don't know <laughs> so it just makes me kind of nervous so i might go back to dip i think i'm gonna go back to dip just because they don't use any curing at my place it's just the powder um because yeah my, it was funny when my mom and i would go get our nails done at like a decade ago we'd get gel and she always turned to me and she's like, this can't be good for us. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> so the fact that that um, came out on the news, I was like, I do your own research. I'm not a doctor. It's just something I saw on the news. I've also been getting like that. It's called UV gel where I go. And it's basically like this acrylic goo that they put on the nail and then cure it before doing like the gel color. And it hurts so bad when it's curing like and they warn you too they're like it's gonna sting <laughs> i'm like okay and it stings so bad like i'll pull my hand out and go like this because it's like so painful and i'm like that really probably isn't good <laughs> it's probably not good so yeah i'm gonna go back to dip i did like the dip but like sometimes when i'm cleaning with dip and i like hit my hand to a wall or something because i can be a little bit aggressive um sometimes they would crack um, and like the UV gel has never cracked like they last so long so it's kind of a bummer but I'm just gonna be more careful because I think that's the best option for me right now so I don't know so yes I think it's time for iced coffee Bruni should we have some iced coffee hi you want to say hi so the problem with Bruni <laughs> he always ends up wearing crop tops because he's so long He's, oh, I love when they rest the head on the shoulder. He's so long and skinny. I got a large, hoping it would accommodate the length. First of all, it didn't accommodate his whole length, and it was dragging because <laughs> he's so skinny without the floof. Um, so I got a medium, and it fits his body perfect, but it's so short, it looks like he's wearing a crop top. <laughs> Look at the baby. Oh, I love this dog. I really do. So I'm going to go get my nails done today. Um, and I think I'm just gonna get some some work done on the computer. I want to throw on like a little bit of makeup later. Very soft Valentine's glam. And I figured for Valentine's Day we can make Bruni some more doggy treats with the Do-Re-Mi doggy dough. He loves them. I was using them as like kind of training rewards. You know, I still reward for going pee pee poo poo outside. <laughs> And we're trying to teach him paw, but like he loves this doggy dough. Anyway, let's make some coffee. I am gonna need to do a Target run because I'm almost out. Here I go again. I'm a wannabe barista. Sugar free caramel. This might be our last cup. So yeah, we're gonna have to run to Target and get more. Oh, just enough. Just enough. That is a relief. I mean, just look at this, like, look at this work of art. It's not. The first sip's the best. Let's cherish it. Mm. Hello, you guys. I am now in the car. I just did a really simple, quick glam. I filmed to get ready with me for shorts and reels and TikTok and stuff. Um, just like my usual, <laughs> my usual makeup. It feels really good to not feel like I need to wear lashes all the time anymore. I definitely want to get back into a 
lash serum though because the one that i use lash food it's actually i believe pregnancy safe from the research i did so i don't know so i feel like most things if they're pregnancy safe they're safe for when you're trying to get pregnant you know so anyway, I'm almost at the nail salon. Um, I'm definitely gonna do red. I did decide on that. Then I'm going to run up to Walgreens for a photo pickup, which we have a gift for someone. Uh, and then I need to pop into Target. I need to get coffee and creamer, but then I also want to get some chocolate and flowers for my mom. She's at work today, and I'm gonna sneak into her apartment and put them in there. Just, I don't know, so it's a nice little surprise when she comes home, a little Valentine's Day surprise. And yeah, those are the errands for today. And then we're gonna go to the movies tonight. So let's go get these nails done because they are <laughs> they are so grown out and they're starting to feel way too long. <laughs> okay, nails are done. I love how they came out. The color is called My Chihuahua Bites from OPI in the dip powder. So yeah, super cute. Love some red. Okay, next stop, I'm gonna run into Target to get the things we need. And I also forgot I have a few returns in here with me. Thankfully, I remembered them from my recent haul. I am gonna return the zebra dress. And I'm gonna keep the blue crisscross bikini top for photos. I know, it was pretty cheap and it was really cute. I just can't wear it too long or I feel like I'm choking. <laughs> okay, I gotta pick flowers for my mom. They have a lot left considering it's Valentine's Day, but I've been eyeing these. This is the last one. They look so healthy and pretty, so I'm gonna get these for mom. They had my cream, but they were out of my coffee. Okay, they actually have a lot of Valentine's Day stuff left, so let's get her some chocolate. Okay, and this is my favorite feminine care brand right now. I love Honey Pot, so I'm gonna grab some more feminine wash. Okay, so I grabbed these flowers, so pretty. I got the cinnamon roll, sugar-free creamer. I got her the two chocolates. So I also grabbed the e.l.f. brow lift because my Anastasia one is gone and everyone is like raving about this. So I grabbed that, I got her a card, got my honey pot wash. Now I'm gonna head home and have some lunch and then I'm gonna go sneak this over <laughs> and drop it off at her apartment. I came home to two beautiful bouquets from Yar. So pretty, he's like, I wanted you to be able to put them in different spots. Like, is he not just so cute? So I love the colors, like the colors are so pretty with the pinks and the reds, different color pinks, like, ugh. It's so beautiful. Isn't it pretty, Bruni? Your dad's so nice. Your dad is so sweet to mama. And then we're gonna make you some Valentine treats because you deserve them. Okay, I have my mom's flowers and chocolates. I put them in a vase with water, so they'll be good, but I'm gonna drop this off at her apartment. I have a key to her apartment. It's so weird to be in here <laughs> without her. All right, so I'm gonna put them right here on the counter and I'm gonna lean up the chocolate. Try to make it look cute. Well, <laughs> it's not very leanable. That looks cute. There, we'll do that. So hopefully it makes her happy. Nice surprise when she gets home from work. Got my little companion with me. Um, we haven't gone for a ride in a minute. So I was like, you wanna come for a ride? Yes. So I did a curbside pickup as well at a different Target near my mom's. And I got my cold brew. Uh, all right, so we have that. I also forgot to show, I picked up um, a Walgreens order earlier. Um, and it's just about that time where I'm getting a headache from my headband. So I gotta, gotta take breaks. But now we're gonna head home and I'm gonna do some editing before we go to the movies later. It's like 2.30, I think, right now. 2.30, maybe 3. So I'm gonna edit for a couple hours and then we are going to head to the movies. Okay, so I also wanna whip up some dog treats for Bruni. I'm gonna do the rest of the dough. Um, and this actually can even be fed to them raw. So kind of cool, human grade, gluten-free. I showed them before. I'll link her page. She's a small business, go support her. Dogs love it. <laughs> and I'm gonna make these cute little shapes. Be so cute. Bruni, your cookies are done. Do you want to try one when they cool down? <laughs> oh, let's see. Ooh, these smell so good. They smell like peanut butter. Well, it's probably made with all. It's right? human grade. Human. It's they say oh, human grade. Oh, try okay. it. Will you try it? No. For my Valentine's gift? No. <laughs> You're I like I already got you a gift. <laughs> That's not a gift. <laughs> okay, Bruni. Ready? 
Oh, you're already sitting. You're a good boy. Yummy. Many hours later. Turn of events. <laughs> I've had a headache for like an hour and a half, almost two hours. I don't want to go to the movies because <laughs> the movies we were going to go to with the reclining chairs and food and stuff is almost an hour away. And I'm like, I kind of want to just order in food and watch that Netflix movie. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to order Mexican <laughs> and watch that Netflix movie. So I'll report back on how it is. Okay, that was so cute. He. I thought this was a picture. <laughs> Quintessential rom-com. I give it a solid 9.5 out of 10. Don't ask him his score. It was a 5.5. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you.